Millions of years ago, something in the center of Orion burped a bubble of gas that is still blowing outward today at a speed of 50 miles per second. We could assume that an exploding star was to blame, but in the bustling, star-making factories of Orion, there's always a chance that the ignition of so many giant new stars could also be lighting up and propelling this gas. Although Barnard's Loop is nearly as big as the entire constellation of Orion, optical telescopes can only see the loop if they photograph the area with a long exposure camera. However, the loop is very bright in radio light because its gas and dust molecules are charged up and wiggling on the frequencies picked up by radio telescopes. Barnard's Loop is named for E.E. E. Barnard, who photographed it in 1894, but it was first seen by William Herschel in 1786.